Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug. I'm going to cover the ranking functions in SQL Server. Uh, this first part is on the over clause that's necessary for all the ranking functions. So we're going to use the Northwind database and we'll just look at the products table and I've ordered the products table by unit price descending. So this will be the basis of our ranking and the idea is that Cote de Bly would be the first place winner of the high unit price contest. So this would be first place, second place, third place. And you can do that with the ranking functions like this. So first, pr first prize, second prize, third prize, fourth, etc. based on the unit price. So here it is, rank, it's a function, it's a class of functions called ranking functions similar to how aggregate functions are uh, in a class, like min, max, sum, count, etc. So um, the syntax here is that I have an over clause and I need to specify for the ranking function how should it go about calculating the rank. And in this case, I'm calculating it in the same way as I'm ordering the records. So um, you need an over clause. So if you leave that out, you're basically not giving the rank function uh, enough information to know how to calculate the rank. So here we go. Um, we're back to this. So I'm saying rank. And when you calculate the rank, calculate it by unit price descending. Again, I'm ordering in the same way so we can see it really clearly. Now, we could choose to calculate the rank in a different way. So in this case, I'm calculating the rank based on product name and ascending. So in effect, uh, the first product name in the alphabet will win the first place. I'm still ordering in the same way. So if I scroll down, there it is. Alice Mutton, based on the uh, letters in the name, uh, is in first place alphabetically. Now, to, to verify that, that this looks consistent, I'm going to go ahead and order by product name, and then we can see that the name ranks are consistent with that ordering. Now, this makes a good point, though, is that what I put in the order by clause and what I put in the order, uh, I'm sorry, in the over clause as the order by, and what I put in the select order by can be different and in many cases they might be different so um, so for example I might want to show the products in order by product name but then be able to look up what their price rank is so there's Cote de Bly in the 12th place because of uh, it starts with C and but its price rank based on how high the price is is first so now let's consider this piece here where I've got the same, this is kind of what we started with in the beginning, but now I'm showing the uh, category ID also. And I want you to notice that based in, in category one, Cote de Bly is um, first place and it's in category one. And then IPO Coffee is in ninth place. But if I were to say, what is IPO Coffee's uh, rank but only for category one, then it would be two, right? So its rank would be two. And to show you that, let's go look at this. So here I'm restricting it to only category one. And I've got 12 of them. And you can see that IPO coffee becomes rank of two when compared to only category one. I could do the same thing with category two. Right? So now I'm only looking at the products in category two, there's 12 of them, and I see that veggie spread here is the first place when compared within its category. Now I could do a whole bunch of those different uh, limited uh, to each category and union them together to combine them. Uh, but that gets pretty painful. I don't know ahead of time how many categories there are. It's going to be really slow if I try to scale that up. So there is a way of doing this with the uh, rank functions. And there it is. There's the code. And I'm going to format it slightly differently so you can see just the difference. 
the only difference between that rank, like this column, and this next column is this partition by. The partition by says uh, only compare, when you're calculating the rank, compare each product's unit price to other products in the same category. So you can think of this similar to how group by works and that you might think uh, that logically what the database is doing is it's actually putting everything in different category groups and then ranking within those groups. So um, as you can see here in the data that there's category one, uh, unit price one, right? So I can see that each one of these is first in its category and then we start to see second in its category. So, um, so let's do this again, but uh, rank it uh, in different ways. So in this case, I'm, I'm calculating a rank within category, then I'm calculating a rank within supplier, and then I've got the overall price rank. And I'm gonna just change uh, just the order by so we can verify that each one of these is doing what we expect. So the overall price rank here is consistent with the unit price here. And we can see that I'm ordering by the unit price descending and it's consistent with the overall price rank. Now I'm gonna swap out that order by with an order by category, then by unit price descending. And what I see is here are two null categories and the price rank is one, two. And then when I shift categories, I start ranking over again from one. And again, uh, let me swap out this order by. Now I'm gonna order by the supplier then the price descending. And again, look at this price rank by supplier. Here are three with a null supplier ID ranked one, two, and three. Three uh, in supplier ID one, one, two, and three. So one final example just to show that uh, these partitions and the rank clause could be more complex is here what I'm doing is ranking everything in terms of dollar value in inventory. So uh, here are my two that are null categories, but notice these the second set here of um, that are ranked within the, their category and ranked in terms of the dollar value in inventory. So my order by here can be an expression and um, I can also add more uh, fields to the order by. So for instance, if I wanted to make sure that um, this was a unique ordering, I might actually order by product ID ascending so that I'm ensured that I have a unique ordering in cases where the unit price times the unit stock was the same uh, for multiple products. So there we go. So notice that the order by and the over can be an expression. In future videos, I'll cover row number, dense rank, and tile. They're all ranking functions. They all use the over clause that has a partition by and an order by piece to it. Um, but they calculate the rank in various ways.